I just realized that Sam and Amelia lived in Kermit, Texas. It's not easy being green. With envy of your brother's new vampire best friend! OH I GOT JOKES! Season 8, Episode 9, Citizen Fang, which is the mid-season finale. And they conclude this half of the season with a definite good one. And let's talk about why it was good. Well, it was a Benny episode, and those are always pretty good. But this one in particular, it's definitely the best Benny app so far. I really, really love the war buddy dynamic between Dean and Benny. I always mention it, but uh, it's great. I think Benny's a really strong addition to the cast here, and perhaps soon to be on par with Castiel, in my opinion. And that's some crazy crap. I mean, that means a lot coming from me. The one criticism I have about Benny episodes, though, is that they're always about Benny problems. I mean, it does seem obvious. Like, of course, the issue would end up being about Benny. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't be in the episode. But I don't know. It always seems like every time we have a Benny episode, the plot is... Some vamps in the neighborhood, he's causing problems, Benny has to take him out and he needs Dean's help. Which is the plot of this episode. But that's really a very minor complaint when considering how good the episode is overall, so no worries. And it really is Benny driving the quality of this. I legitimately care about him in a way that not many characters in Supernatural get me to. Ty Olsen really shows his own as an actor here. And there's a scene near the end, at essentially the climax of the episode, that was just great and really got to me. The Dean and Benny relationship is the number one relationship for me this season. Yeah, not Sam and Dean, and definitely not Sam and Amelia. And speaking of Sam and Amelia, good segue! We get a little bit of Sam flashbacks here about what's up after it's discovered that Amelia's formerly dead husband is alive. So continuing that thread from last week's episode. And really, it's nothing. Just shows us that Sam decided to leave Amelia to give her a chance with dead husband guy. Although this wasn't the final time he'd left. That time in the first episode, when he left at night, that was the final time. So I guess this will need a little bit more explaining. Hopefully not with more Sam flashbacks, though. I really want those to be over. But I guess the biggest thing to come from this episode, Sam and Amelia time, is that I guess Amelia really does exist, because at the end of the episode, she meets Sam at a bar. That's a bummer. I was really hoping that all that was gonna have some twist to it. There's still the mystery of who was outside Amelia's house that night that Sam left in the first episode. Plus, I still don't buy that her dead husband guy wasn't brought back supernaturally. So we'll see on all that, I guess. Other things of note, uh... Oh, Martin Creaser from Sam Interrupted is back. And he basically serves as this episode's punching bag. It's honestly kind of sad. Until the end of the episode, and then I was like, Yeah, I don't feel too bad for you anymore. Other thing of note, um, the music. It was very Creole Bayou Louisiana stuff. It just kind of stood out to me and I dig it. But I think that's it. Not a whole lot to say, except that this episode was damn good. I give it an 8 out of 10. No, uh, Benny was so good though. But not a 9. Was it that good? 8.5? Do, do I do decimals? Screw it, it's a 9 for me. Benny is worth it. Okay, alright. Um, well, that's the end of this half of the season. A good way to conclude it, with enough of a cliffhanger to leave me anticipating the show's return next year. So I'll see you in January, ass butts.